Hey guys, so today I'm here with a kind of short-ish video and I think it's going to be kind of fun, but I was sitting and looking at my bookshelves because what else is there to do sometimes? Um, no, but I was just looking and I realized how many books I buy just based off of the cover alone and how many of them I love the covers to, so I thought it would be a nice video and I think this was a tag, but I'm not doing it as a tag. Um, I will be showing you my top 5 favorite book covers of books that I own. So if I miss some and you're like, oh my god, Christina, but this book is gorgeous, I might not own it. And yeah, so these are going to be in no particular order, but it was really hard to pick five. Well, just five because I love many of them, but yeah, let's just get started. First one that I picked was The Hypnotist by Lars Kepler. I just think this cover is so creepy and intriguing, and the second I saw it, I loved it. I've had this book for almost a year maybe more and even the sequel is really cool too but this is the first one I saw and I don't know I just think that's sketchy and cool and I love it and I can't wait to read it none of these books I've read great but I will so then this next one I picked up is a recent one that I got and that is Starstruck by Sin Belog I just think that's it's so simple it's so pretty too the way the lights reflect in the different colors of the stars and I just think it's very pretty I like I like when books are very design and intriguing but I like the simpleness too so so I picked this one and I picked The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken because something about this cover I just love I love all the wires like the barbed wire here and the little watches here and how the barbed wire goes all the way across and I don't know there's just something about it the way the colors and the way this these colors stick out so the way they contrast of that I just think it's a very pretty book um I was gonna pick the diviners instead of this one but what I like the most about the diviners is the actual like book and not really the cover and we're talking about favorite book covers so these two might be my favorites um, so it's going to be hard to pick one of the, over the other, but this one is also a recent one I got, and that is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Just ever since I unboxed this book, I can't stop looking at it. It is so nice and shiny, but not too shiny, and it's got like a nice cover to it. I don't know how to describe it, and I just, this part sticks out and is like elevated, and I think it's very simple, but it looks like there was a lot of thought put into it and it was just really well done and the spine as well is also very pretty and I believe strongly in pretty spines because if they're going to sit on my shelf I want it to look pretty and finally the book that I own that might be my favorite cover is Quarantine by Lex Thomas yes I could have picked a prettier book this cover is just so intriguing I haven't read the book so I don't know if they relate but based on reading the synopsis and stuff I have a feeling they might and just, even just looking at the cover makes me want to read the book and the cover for the sequel looks better if that's even like possible but yeah it's like I don't know if you can see the people sitting in the doorway and the mess and everything because this is like you're quarantined and yeah you're like in high school so I think this is just very intriguing I love the way that this kind of fades down into the bottom and yeah, I just think it's very well done. I even like the spine, how it's nice and bright, so when I look at my shelf, it stands out. And that's important for a book to stand out. So, those are my favorite books, or my top five favorite book covers of the books that I own. Um, if you guys like these covers, you should let me know down in the comments. Or if you would have picked different books, let me know down in the comments what you would have picked because I like buying books that have really pretty covers. So if I don't own it, then I can maybe go buy it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.